Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Although I am not really with you, I am at the World Sudoku Championship, which will be finishing sometime around now, I think, so um, when this video goes out. So good luck to me in the future, as I'm sitting here recording this in the past. And uh, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm not really expecting anything too great this year, but we'll see. Um, now, I'm going to have a go at this puzzle by Mr. Don, because this is the sort of thing I won't be able to attempt at the Sudoku Championship. They very rarely have eh, heavily combined rule sets, and this one features, features chess, it features arrows, it features thermos, and it features dominoes with crop key dots in. So it's like a tribute to all our apps. Do check out our apps on the link under the video. Um, if you get the CTC app or indeed the individual apps that I just mentioned, there's also Sandwich and Classic and uh, Miracle Sudoku as well. Um, if you get those, you get up to, ooh, you get 100 puzzles in each app. If you get the gas apps, you get 60. Um, and they are brilliant collections of puzzles, often by the best setters in the world. Now, Mr. Don turned up at Sudoku Skunk Works and was welcomed in with open arms. It's a, it's a virtual place, I admit, but um, he has started setting puzzles, Riff Clown tells me, citing Riff Clown himself and Sandra and Nala amongst his influences. Um, and what I love about this puzzle, what I love most is the title, which comes from the Monty Python... Um, Nobody Expects the Spanish Inquisition sketch, which I adore. Um, just about 10 lines of dialogue, and they just make me laugh every time. Um, but also, I am very admiring of the fact that it's quite sparsely populated. Yes, there are a few different types of uh, rule within it, and even a king's move rule. Not a knight's move rule, a king's move rule. But... There is very little in the grid, which is a very impressive feat of setting. Um, and we may get to see how that's been achieved. But I'm intrigued and I'm looking forward to having a go at it. Uh, I've mentioned, obviously, our apps. There's also, talking of Skunk Works, their brilliant uh, Sudoku pack, which is, uh, you can have a go at it until the 20th of the month, of the month, the 20th of the month, 4 p.m. UK time. Uh, send in the answer to the, either the whole pack to get on the roll of honour or to the first nine puzzles, the intermediate answer, to have a chance of a prize. And uh, we welcome everybody who will write to us and everybody who has written to us. Well done if you've achieved that. Um, and of course, don't forget Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise and the other links. But the first link is to this puzzle. Now, how, how does that sketch go? It go? And I should have prepared this, but I have not. It goes something like, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Fear is our main weapon. Fear and surprise. Fear and surprise are our main weapons. Ah, and our natty red uniforms amongst our weaponry. Our fear, surprise, our natty red uniforms and an almost fanatical devotion to the Pope. It's stuff like that. I don't know why it's funny. It just is. Anyway, ah... That's made me feel good. Right, let's do the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Uh, cells separated by a chess king's move, like those two, cannot contain the same digit. So no touching cells, even diagonally, can contain the same digit. Digits on an arrow sum to the number in the attached circle. Cells separated by a white dot are consecutive. Cells separated by a black dot have a one to two ratio and digits along a thermometer increase from the bulb end. And that's all we get, and so few markings. Give it a try. I'm gonna start now. Let's get cracking. And, okay, I would normally, and I will start with these circles. Those have to add up to at least six, one, two, and three being the minimum. So this has to be one, two, or three, and this has to be seven, eight, or nine, and we can replicate that in the symmetrical counterpart arrow. My word, I'm fluent today. Now, ah, okay, I can see that this is quite interesting straight away. What's happening on this thermo? I'll tell you what's not happening is one, two, three in those cells because that breaks this cell. And that's lovely. That's a really lovely touch straight off. 
Um, and therefore, this digit is at least four. And that is a huge step in this puzzle, because it is four, basically, because it has a black dot relationship with a higher digit, and you can't go above four. You'll get to five, and then you'll need a ten number to be double that. So that is brilliant. And that, does that work here? I think it does. No, there's no black dot. It does not work here. However, however, at least we can say on this side, that's not one, two, three again. So this is at least four. And now we know it's not four. So this is five, six, seven, or eight, and this is higher. And that is a fun start. That is not eight now. In fact, this is three or two. This is two or one. These form a triple. They must all be different because they all see each other in totally different ways each time, horizontally, vertically, on the thermo. Uh, that white dot, oh, we need another one from one, two, three. That is the same color cell digit as that one. And I whip out my palette. I should have used Natty Red, shouldn't I? Um, two must be in that pair because it needs an even digit. So that is one or three now. Now, can we do... I don't think we can do the same sorts of things up here because this has a lot of candidates. Now, I don't even want to. Right, there must be a one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There must be a one in that set of digits because they can't add up to more than eight given that they've got to add that cell and any set of three digits which are all different that don't add up to more than eight need a one in. So much more importantly, there's a one there somewhere and now we can untangle what all of these digits are down here, these low digits. There we go. Three turned out to be purple. We'll get rid of the colouring. Um, so what's this? This is high enough to not be one, two, three, or four. I'm going to put five or six as candidates, and I'm almost certainly not going to allow five there, because five or six there means this has gone up to nine, but these have to be consecutive, so I think they have to be a one, two pair, and that is now six. And that's lovely. On we go again. Um... I don't have to put a two in these. But it is interesting. If that was one, two, three, this would be at least four and would force the thermo a bit. Oh, what about these? Ah, yes, these, these are one, three, four. That's the lowest they can be now. I've got the two there. So that's a nine. That's not nine. That's not eight. Is it worth pencil marking this? I'm not doing it quite yet. Oh, all right. All right, I am. Because this can't be a one, I've just remembered. So let's put two, three, four, five in there, and three, four, five, six in there. And in fact, it can't be a three because of the three lurking the other side of the box. So now this uh, hasn't changed that. Four, five, or six there. This is four, five, six, or seven. Oh, I'm really giving in to the pencil marking demon inside, aren't I? This can't be one or three, so let's say two, four, or five, and this is can't be three or four, so that's five or six. Oh, that's interesting. This has to be at least two, and this is therefore more than two, but it sees three and four. So we've gone up to five or six there. We can go up to six or seven there, and seven, eight, or nine here. Now, that can't be four anymore. Oh, so the thermos are kind of having a bouncing effect on each other. Six there. That is now a five-six pair in the box. Oh, that's pretty. Seven, six, five. That can't be five. This can't be seven. This is now seven, and that's eight. And this thermo ends six, seven, eight. Ah, it's clever. It's a clever, clever puzzle. Um, and if you're wondering why, why does Mark go on about things like not much marking in the grid, try setting this sort of puzzle yourself. And do, do try, because it's fascinating, but it's also rather difficult. And uh, Mr Don has made a fabulous job of it, if I may say so.
based on the evidence so far. Um, right, now, what next? I would like to know what these digits are. How can we determine those? I don't know. Uh, six, though. Can't be in those cells by Sudoku. Can't be in those cells because of arrow rules, basically. They would add up to at least ten. So six is somewhere up there, and then somewhere here in row three. Uh, that didn't get much done. King's move, which I haven't thought about. Oh my goodness, Emily gave me. I've got it around here. A bot. Uh, no, I haven't. That's very poor. I should have got out my chess king that I've been given to remind me. Because I haven't thought about it at all yet, but it is time now. Look at that. One, three, four, all looking at that cell. That's a two. Oh, this is going to ease things. That eight is looking at that cell, so that's nine. And look, central box suddenly finished. And that four we've just put in, actually, and that three determine how we put those in. Now, the one up here can't be there. One is there. This can't be a one. That didn't need the king's move. Um, look at this. This can't be one, five, three, or four, and we can't. Well, it can't even be six. So that's a two. Hmm. Here, I'm not so sure. That can't be two anymore. So these two add up to six between them. If that's two or three, and I think that's right, this is three or four. But they could both be threes. There will, of course, be a repeat digit on. The arrow. Now, some of you will be looking at the Fistemafel ring and trying to take it into the corner boxes, but I'm not doing that. Um, I need to use the King's Move rule a bit more, probably. Although, I've kind of covered all of these box borders here. So, that's where the King's Move is, is at its most powerful. So maybe there isn't that much more to do with the King's move. I mean, that, that could be wrong or it could be right. Don't know. Um, just waffling now. Find something to actually solve. That's my best advice to myself. Right, that's not a six. So six isn't in those cells. It's in one of those two. These are from seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> One, six, nine, four, three. Two isn't up there, so it's down here, and therefore these can't have a two in. Hmm, that doesn't keep it out of this arrow. Rather, it more likely puts it in it. <clears throat> these are from ah, those are from five, six, seven, eight, but they can't have a seven in apparently because of the seven that must sit here. Oh, so maybe that's the thing to do. There has to be a four in one of those cells. So these can't have a four. Seven must be in one of the... No, I don't know. That's, that's not getting any further. Two, one, five, three, four. Oh, that can't be nine. I've just seen that. One, two, six, nine. Even when you know there's a king's move, it's quite hard to spot it sometimes in operation. Um, and certainly harder when you don't know there's a king's move or when you've briefly forgotten. <coughs> now, one, two, six. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that arrow. It's not really yielding anything. So I have got to a bit of an impasse. There must be a one in one of those. Nine is in one of those three. That's not the sort of info I want. Three is somewhere down here. One, four, eight, five, nine, seven. That is two, three, or five. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, six is an X-wing, isn't it? There's a six in one of those cells and a six in one of those cells. And that's going to use up the sixes in columns eight and nine. So six can't be there and must be in one of these pair. 
Now six must be in one of this pair. <coughs> and that means six can't be here. So they must be there and here. Uh, did I not manage to write the six in? Oh gosh, losing control of my buttons. Right, where does that get me? Seven, eight, one. There's a one in one of those two. That's an X-wing as well. Yes, that one was important in that because of the king's move. So this is now a six-one pair down here. <coughs> this voice is going now. Excuse me. Now, we have a 2, 3, 4, 5 quad up the top of column 7. That one can't be a 2 because of the 1, 2 pair over here. So 2's in one of those cells. I don't know. I mean, disentangling those two is actually quite important here, and I don't know yet how to do it. But one has come off the arrow, so that is a two, three, four arrow. Three has to be in the bottom row, so it's in the corner, proving its position and maintaining its religion. This is a five, seven, or an eight. Three there, oh no, two, four pair sorts out two. Oh, I hear the neighbor's dog going off on one. Four there, four, one, three, two. This is five, seven, or eight. That doesn't look all that helpful. Well, hang on. Yeah, look, five, seven, or eight remaining in the column, and that's now a quadruple. So that's not six. We know where six goes. It goes there, above a three, four pair. And also there is a five in one of those cells, so there can't be five in these, and that puts five on the bulb in column seven, and that puts five by king's move into the top row. That fixes this as a seven by king's move. That sorts out almost the whole of box two. That's a three, four, eight triple at the top. That has to be two now, and that fixes the arrow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's really elegant stuff. Four and eight here, we can decide which way round because of the king's move, which has really come into play suddenly. I think I remembered it about at the right time. If I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just relieved, frankly. Now, what else have we got going on? That is a four in the column. Yes, okay, so the row up there finishes. That can't be eight, so that's eight. That makes that, in fact that has been eight for a little while, I just hadn't seen. This is now an eight six pair. Um, oh, we know we, we know the order. That puts six in the middle, in box four rather, in the middle row. That's two or three that's one. Oh, both of these are one or two because they can't be threes. So that is a three. Five, three. That's not a three now. Three, six, four, one, eight, seven, five, two, nine. I'm not sure. Maybe there is something. Oh, I can finish this column with a five. That place is five in box eight, all on its own. King's move is sometimes much more powerful. You always think it's less powerful than knight's move, but it sometimes has hidden strengths. Um, although we're largely finished with it now, I think. Four is placed there. That can't be a nine. These are from one, seven, nine. Um, I think everything is done on the markings. Obviously, we haven't resolved those yet, but... Nothing to uh, nothing to see there move along. Now, these are from 4, 5, 9 and must include a 4. Oh, that can't be a 5 by the king's move. Yes, I'm still going to have to find some remaining king's moves. And here we go. That can't be 9. So 9's in one of those. No, not true. Let's just keep pencil marking. 
two, five, or nine. Oh, no, it can't be nine, five, rather. So that's two or nine. One, three, two, four, eight, six. So I've got five, seven, and nine potentially for that cell, leaving seven or nine for that one. Now, what am I missing now? One, two, five, seven, nine. Probably a king's move somewhere. <laughs> I just can't see. Oh, this is what I mean by it's all very well knowing they're there. You then have to spot them. Oh, that's a five, seven pair. So these can't have a five in. That's what's going on. There we go. Six, nine, five, four, seven, six. Yeah, that's going to do almost everything. In fact, it is going to complete these final two columns, which is good. Now, how does that rub across to here? Yes, it fixes seven and five two and nine and surely they're going to sort out the remaining cells in this excellent puzzle very big fan of this one good recommendation riff clown thank you six and a seven there and i think we've got it and amongst our weaponry today are thermo arrows king's move and indeed white dots and black dots but they have combined to form a wonderful puzzle uh, that I particularly enjoyed. So thank you very much, Mr. Don. Very good effort indeed. And uh, I think Skunkworks told me that a thousand people there have solved this already, which is great because a thousand people have enjoyed what's going on in that puzzle. I love it. Thanks very much for watching as always. Do do more variant Sudoku. Um, and I will see you next time and maybe we'll be able to let you know at some point soon how the World Championship went for me. Although I'm not flying back till overnight Wednesday night, so it could be a while. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.